Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel and to another Swift Zwift tip, this time looking into the laptop battery saver mode menu option that's been in Zwift for many years that I couldn't find a lot of detail about exactly what it did. So after a bit of digging, a few emails to and fro, I know all about how it works and what it does. So let's get straight into it. So laptop battery save mode could effectively be called frame rate limiter mode because that's all it does. It slows down the frame rate in game to conserve battery. Now this option only applies to Windows or Mac OS laptops or notebooks when running on battery power. When connected to mains, the option is ignored and your system will be running at max speed or max frame rate. Now the four options of the laptop battery save mode, obviously off, max speed, unlimited frame rates, limited only by your screen or your hardware capacity. Minimal battery save mode limits the frame rates to 30 frames a second. Medium. 20 frames a second, and maximum battery save mode limits your system to only 15 frames a second in game. Changes to the battery save mode configuration happen in real time, so there's no need to restart Zwift or restart your machine. And graphic level detail is preserved regardless of the option that you choose. So if you're in ultra, it stays in ultra. If you're in high, it stays in high, etc. To demonstrate what happens in real time with this battery save mode as we change the settings, I'll pull up Zwift behind me here, which is also in front of me. Now I'm on mains power, so no matter what I set that setting to, it'll always be at maximum, and I'm getting just about 40 frames a second. So I unplug the mains power, and it's, it stays there. Doesn't dip down past that, so running on battery power now. The setting that I have is off, so nothing actually changed. Let's go down and change that laptop battery saver to minimum battery saver. That should reduce those frames to 30 frames per second, just like clockwork. It does. 30 frames a second is still a good frame rate to run. Everything looking nice and smooth. Change that to medium. Medium battery save, done. That should take us back to 20. There it goes. Things looking a little bit more stuttery as that uh, Jay Walker rolls past in the TT rig. That thumb is a little bit jerky on the way down. And we'll go to minimum to cover them all off. Sorry, maximum battery saver, that's right, min, max, yes. Maximum battery saver, taking us to an ugly 15 frames a second, which is probably how it runs on a number of older machines anyway. Uh, let's just jump up the road here and have a look at what that looks like riding along. It's usable, but really not that great. Jay Walker, beautiful AHDR kit. And then as we plug this back in, in real time, that option is ignored, goes back to maximum. Let's have a look at that. And bang, that frame rate goes straight back up and things look nice and smooth again. So the difference between, oh, it's 45 frames a second now and 15, we'll drop that down. Give it a second, there it goes. And it becomes more of a flip book. You do get used to the slow frame rate, but it's much better having smoother frame rates. 30 or above always looks good. On a gaming machine, 60 plus looks excellent. All right, as that group goes past us, let's put the power back in and <laughs> straight back up to around 40 frames a second. Excellent, there it is in real time and everything you need to know about the laptop battery save mode on Zwift with the final question remaining unanswered and that is, so how much battery does it save? And there's no straight answer on that one. That's gonna depend on the system that you're using, the battery age and battery health, other resources and things that your system may be using. So that really is an unknown. However, what we do know now is exactly what that option does in Zwift and uh, when it's ignored, when plugged into here. All right, with that, we'll leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one and learned something new, digging into this, I certainly have. As always, if you've enjoyed this one, thumbs up, subscribe to be across more videos like this, and we'll see you soon.